you just want them to be okay, you know, so. Um. But his ex's close friends believe the county attorney should up that to a first degree murder charge. County police department to be able to figure out what exactly happened in this case. His mother says he knew about the pregnancy. He made his first appearance in court this afternoon. Jessica, talk about this suspect and his ex's relationship a little bit more. Had there been domestic issues in the past? They cried, they hugged, and tried to console one another tonight. Early life. Valeria Vivanco was born on May 29, 1996 in the small, vibrant commune of La Granja, just outside Santiago, Chile's bustling capital. From the outset, Valeria's life was woven into the fabric of a modest yet resilient family. She was the youngest of three, cherished and doted on by her parents, Miguel and Jacqueline Vivanco. Miguel worked tirelessly in the transportation sector, a job demanding both endurance and dedication, while Jacqueline was the heart of the home, a homemaker whose primary focus was nurturing her babies. Valeria's early years were filled with the typical joys and challenges of childhood, but they were also colored by the complexities of familial relationships. She had an older brother, Michelangelo, whose protective nature often clashed with her independent spirit, and an older sister, Daniela, who served as a role model and confidant. The separation of her parents during her early school years cast a shadow over her childhood, stirring a cauldron of emotions within her. Despite the marital rift, Miguel remained a constant presence in his younglings' lives, striving to bridge the gap his absence at home created. Yet young Valeria couldn't help but harbor a degree of resentment toward him, a mixture of longing and disappointment that occasionally erupted in heated arguments. These familial dynamics, though turbulent at times, instilled in Valeria a profound understanding of resilience and reconciliation. This early inclination toward helping and protecting people sowed the seeds for her future. The blend of her personal experiences and her intrinsic sense of justice naturally steered her toward a career in law enforcement. Dedication to Law Enforcement After completing high school, Valeria Vivanco took a decisive step towards her calling by enrolling in the police academy in Santiago. She immersed herself in her studies and training with the same determination that had characterized her earlier achievements. In 2016, she graduated with honors, a testament to her dedication and hard work. At just 20 years old, Valeria joined the Chilean police force, ready to make her mark. Valeria's first assignment was with the bureau responsible for investigating especially serious crimes in the capital. It was a challenging role, demanding both courage and precision, but Valeria embraced it wholeheartedly. She quickly distinguished herself with her unwavering commitment to justice, often risking her own safety to respond to crime scenes at any hour of the day or night. New details were just confirmed to us in the past hour. Earlier today, friends and classmates gathered for a vigil. He just confirmed to us that they have identified her. And you just want them to be okay, you know, so. Um. 20 weeks pregnant at the time of her death. Her colleagues were struck by her blend of kindness, cheerfulness, and professionalism, qualities that made her a respective and beloved member of the force. Her dedication did not go unnoticed. Valeria's superiors recognized her potential early on, and she began receiving accolades for her exemplary service. Her ability to handle complex cases with competence and care earned her rapid career advancement. By 2020, she had been promoted to assistant inspector, a role that not only reflected her skill, but also her leadership qualities. In her new position, Valeria's responsibilities grew, and she thrived under the increased pressure. She represented her department on official visits, one of which was a notable two-week mission in Madrid. Throughout her career, Valeria's dedication and exemplary service continue to earn her the respect and admiration of her peers and superiors alike. The Arrival of Lionel In January 2020, Lionel Contreras Canales, a fresh-faced 21-year-old straight out of the police academy, joined Valeria Vivanco's precinct. Recognizing his potential, Valeria took him under her wing as a mentor. Initially, their relationship was amicable, with Valeria guiding Lionel through the intricacies of police work, sharing her experience and wisdom. However, Lionel's interest in Valeria soon extended beyond professional admiration. Coming from a privileged background, Lionel was unaccustomed to rejection. His attempts to court Valeria were persistent but always met with firm and professional refusals, 
Valeria's unwavering rejections began to strain their working relationship, creating an undercurrent of tension that was palpable to their colleagues. Lionel's privileged upbringing had shielded him from many of life's hardships, and he struggled to handle Valeria's rejections with maturity. Used to getting his way, Lionel's frustration grew, and his behavior became increasingly problematic. He began to exhibit signs of unprofessionalism, his conduct drawing concern and scrutiny within the precinct. Valeria, ever the professional, maintained her focus on her duties, but the atmosphere around them became strained. And it's another teenage girl now being questioned by police about the stabbing. But his ex's close friends believe the county attorney should up that to a first degree murder charge. But an argument with her boyfriend changed everything. She goes to school with my daughter. My daughter knows her. And... The tension between them culminated in a tragic incident that shocked their colleagues. Despite his influential background, which included a high ranking official as an uncle, Lionel's conduct could no longer be ignored. The once promising recruit's behavior became a serious issue, highlighting the dangers of personal grievances affecting professional environments. Valeria, known for her commitment to justice and her ethical integrity, found herself at the center of a storm she had tried to navigate with professionalism and grace. The Tragic Incident On June 12, 2021, Valeria Vivanco's dedication to her duty reached a tragic end. While pursuing suspects with her mentee, Lionel Contreras Canales, a single fatal shot rang out, striking Valeria. Her colleagues rushed her to the hospital, but despite their efforts, Valeria succumbed to her injuries. In the immediate aftermath, the investigation pointed to the suspects as the source of the fatal shot. Witness testimonies initially corroborated this theory, suggesting that Valeria had fallen victim to the criminals they were chasing. However, as the investigation progressed, a shocking truth emerged. The shot that slayed Valeria had been fired from Lionel's service weapon. The idea that Lionel, a fellow officer and her protege, could be responsible for Valeria's demise was almost inconceivable. The betrayal was profound, turning a tragic accident into a scandal of trust and integrity. The situation was further complicated by attempts from higher authorities to distort the facts. Influential figures, possibly swayed by Lionel's family's connections, sought to manipulate the narrative and obscure the true circumstances surrounding Valeria's demise. These efforts led to a flawed initial investigation where crucial evidence was overlooked or misinterpreted and the true sequence of events was obscured. As for the suspect, he does face a number of charges, including second degree murder. County Police Department to be able to figure out what exactly happened in this case. Finding out that police have arrested and charged. His mother says he knew about the pregnancy. He made his first appearance in court this afternoon. As the truth began to surface, the integrity of the police force came under scrutiny. Colleagues and the public alike demanded transparency and justice for Valeria. The cover-up attempts only intensified the outcry highlighting systemic issues within the institution meant to uphold justice. Valeria's demise and the subsequent uncovering of the truth became a catalyst for calls of reform within the police force. The cover-up. The investigation into Valeria Vivanco's demise quickly unraveled into a scandal marked by critical oversights and blatant tampering. Key forensic evidence, including ballistics reports and autopsy details, mysteriously went missing or was suspiciously altered. These egregious mishandlings were not merely errors, but part of a deliberate effort by high-ranking officials to shield Lionel Contreras Canales from culpability. Despite the attempts to distort the truth, the persistent efforts of a few dedicated investigators and the growing pressures from the public led to further scrutiny of the case. A month and a half after the tragic incident, the investigation took a significant turn when two employees directly involved in the cover-up were suspended. Their suspensions brought to light the extent of the conspiracy to protect Lionel, revealing how his actions had been intentionally downplayed. As the investigation progressed, it became increasingly evident that corruption and negligence were entrenched within the police force. The revelation that high-ranking officials were complicit in manipulating the investigation to safeguard Lionel sparked widespread outrage. The public, already reeling from the loss of a respected officer, was now confronted with the unsettling reality of systemic corruption within their law enforcement institutions. The case quickly garnered international media attention, further fueling the demand for justice. News outlets worldwide reported on the blatant corruption. 
the public's faith in the police force was severely shaken, and trust needed to be rebuilt through concrete actions and systemic change. Proceedings and Aftermath Lionel Contreras Canales was ultimately found guilty of manslaughter and sentenced to 12 years in prison, with the possibility of parole after eight years. This verdict was a harsh blow to Valeria Vivanco's family, who felt it was far too lenient given the gravity of Lionel's actions and the profound loss they had suffered. The judicial process in their eyes had failed to deliver true justice for Valeria. In February 2024, their heartbreak was deepened when the Supreme Court overturned Lionel's sentence. This decision sent shockwaves through Valeria's family and the wider community, leaving them reeling from yet another profound injustice. She's pretty broken up right now about it. Anyone with information about the suspect is encouraged to call Crime Stopper. Vibe. She was fun, you know, she throw parties sometimes. Jessica, talk about the suspect and his ex's relationship a little bit more. Had there been domestic issues in the past? They cried, they hugged, and tried to console one another tonight. Public reaction to the Supreme Court's decision was immediate and intense. Outraged citizens joined the Vivanco family in calling for accountability and transparency. Activists and advocates demanded sweeping reforms to ensure that such failures would not be repeated. The case became a rallying point for those seeking to address and rectify the systemic issues plaguing Chile's institutions. For the Vivanco family, the pursuit of justice for Valeria was deeply personal, yet also representative of a larger struggle against systemic corruption and inefficiency. Their determination to seek accountability and reform grew stronger in the face of legal setbacks. Despite the profound challenges and emotional toll, the Vivanco family's resolve never wavered. They continued to fight for Valeria's memory, ensuring that her legacy would be one of perseverance and hope for a more just system. That's all for this video, folks. See you next time.